What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. The CW's edgy take on this TV show, adapted from the Archie comics, started with a murder mystery and has since escalated more and more, featuring a serial killer, a deadly version of Dungeons & Dragons, a tickle video ring, an organ farming cult, all this happening even before the main characters manage to finish high school. Having this in mind, the fans all have huge expectations for what's coming next, and with that, they must deliver in season five, big time. So here are some of the news we have for you about season five and what to expect. Number eight, Riverdale being renewed for season five. Season four of this outlandish show was meant to end differently. However, due to the coronavirus pandemic, it was cut short with episode 19, Killing Mr. Honey, even though Shorten the Show ended with a very good cliffhanger, shocking every fan's mind, now what? As a result of cutting the season, we can't see the gang finishing and graduating high school, yet. Yes, you are right, yet. It was announced that the episodes that were supposed to be in season four will be the start of the new season, before everything else that is about to happen. But we will be right back on this topic later in the video. The premiere of season five is set for 2021, which was originally scheduled to air in October 2020, a little bit delayed by the last season and the whole world pandemic situation. But it's official we will be getting season five very soon, so stay tuned. Number seven season four's missing episodes will be filmed for season five. This is a 100% true fact. The missing episode from the ending of season four that was supposed to end differently will be in fact included in season five. As the director of the series, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa told TV Line, so what we're doing is picking up right where we left off for the first three episodes and then doing a time jump after those three episodes. Because the story of the end was somewhat known and what is next to come, the fans were even more bummed by the end they got, which was very confusing. Roberto also said that any fans who were sad about not seeing the gang finish and graduate high school in the proper manner, they can rest assured that the gang will complete the milestone soon. Number 6. Riverdale Spinoffs this is good news, maybe not for everybody because, let's face it, not many of you out there want the so-called spin-offs. One reason being that they will show some other iteration of the show we know and love, and another reason being not truly originating in the same place. With the announcement of season five of the show, there was also some news about the first spin-off in progress, Katie Keeney following the lives of the four aspiring Archie Comics characters including fashion legends Katie Keeney, played by Lucy Hale in Pretty Little Liars, as they chase their dream in the streets of New York. From the story that we know so far and what the cast said, this musical dramedy chronicles the origins and struggles of four aspiring artists trying to make it on Broadway, on the runway, and in the recording studio. We should be expecting kind of a similar show in the way of the cast behavior and abilities, and a whole new, different scenic world outside of Riverdale, the town of mystery and horror. Number 5. Riverdale Season 5 Cast With the next season just around the corner, we all wonder about the cast. Who is there, who is coming, and who is about to leave, and plus, some cast members returning as guest roles. We cannot do this kind of content without spoilers. Not a major one to ruin your enjoyment of the show, but a few minor ones that will be there for the cause. Lily Reinhardt, Camila Mendez, KJ Appa, Cole Sprouse, Madeleine Petch, and Vanessa Morgan will all be returning. Charles Melton and Casey Cott will also hopefully return. It's been confirmed that Skeet Ulrich will be leaving after season four. F.P. Jones, one of the characters we have bonded with from the start, with a possibility of him returning, leaving the door open for him in the studio. It was previously announced that Marisol Nichols would also be leaving after season four, but with a twist. A rumor spread around the studio of her returning back later, and without a doubt, stronger than ever, leaving us wondering what will happen to both of these characters in the future, and what should we expect? Madchen Amick is returning for season five, as it was stated in an EW interview. There is nothing on Mark Consuelos' status in the show, but him showing in the Katie Keeney spinoff is sure thing of him returning and staying for the long run on the show. 
Number 4. Major Time Jump Without a doubt, we are having a time jump of around five years, one of the biggest revelations in the show, and for the cast themselves. As Roberto discussed in one of his interviews, he said that the time jump was planned for a while and that it should happen between seasons, of course, but with the situation that it is now, the next season will continue where it ended, and then the time jump happens later in the season rather than at the start of the season. So, rather than returning to, into Riverdale, the college years, the show is opting for a time jump of five years for the gang after finishing their studies. But instead, we will be given a story of Bughead and Varchi navigating through life in their 20s, what happens to them, what goes, what stays, how they are cooperating after high school and their endeavors, which is more than a little exciting to begin with. Number 3. Season 5 Plot Interestingly enough, with all the news and spoilers we catch around the social media and on the internet, there is not much known for a Season 5 plot. Of course, we managed to snag some news here and there to share them with you. Showrunner Roberto has said that the season will begin with the episodes that remain from the last season, including the mystery of the sinister videotapes. There will then be a time jump period of five years in the future, taking the story forward to a time of the gang going off to college, have graduated, and the circumstance that will bring them back together after a considerably long period of time. Archie will be going to the U.S. Naval Academy, while Betty goes to Yale, Jughead to the University of Iowa, and Veronica going to Bernard College in New York. With this, what might be an opening for the mentioned Katie Keeney crossover? We know that FP and Hermione are leaving the cast, probably still returning for the first episodes of Season 5 to wrap up the story before moving forward. This indicating that we might possibly see some kind of murder on any of them both. Who knows, maybe this is the really good reason for the returning of the gang and bringing their mystery-solving skills in their oblivious world. Number 2. Katie Keeney and Riverdale Crossover? Looking into the future for the universe of Archie Comics characters brought to life in the TV shows, we are looking at the bigger picture and our probably most favorite show, Riverdale. To do a crossover with his spin-off is actually probably a thing. Yeah, it sounds crazy. You are not the only one thinking that, but the setting, the cast, the timeline, they all connect with the show Katie Keeney representing the modern times in New York. This is all possible from the information we have about the gang and their college plans, especially Veronica, who is in fact going to Bernard College in New York. A high-value setting that could probably turn out as we all expect, in fact a crossover between the two episodes at some point in Season 5. But rest assured, in the near future for what is following after that, spoiler alert, there will possibly be two more seasons of Riverdale after Season 5. Number 1. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Riverdale Crossover since Riverdale and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina are one of the most popular shows on television, and them being in the same setting, the same universe, and also run by the same showrunner in Roberto, the fans are going crazy after some of the gangs from both TV shows shared some snaps being together on some sets. This may only be like a gathering or a shared time for the cast members, which the fans, highly doubt it, being aware of the stories and the both shows that they have. This thought of a crossover in the series was mentioned even before when in Season 1, Episode 3 of CAOC, Sabrina actually went to the neighboring town of Riverdale to her Greendales. Having this in mind, the stories intertwining between themselves, the cast, the crew, it just all makes sense. It's eager to say that this will for sure happen, but we have our wishes, and it may happen not in Season 5, but in the future that is yet to be unveiled on how the things will shape after the events in the next season. Thanks for staying with us all the way until the end. Please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this one.